we made it up to this viewpoint. It took about eh, 30 minutes, something like that, to hike up there, but it's definitely uphill. There's no shade at all, except for this one tree. <laughs> this is the tree that you're shooting for, <laughs> the one tree that has shade. Good afternoon. So today is our last day here in Italy before we head home to Houston tomorrow. Today we decided to come to a place we've never been to yet. It's called Val de Funes. Those are the mountains behind. We're in Orise, which is like directly on the other side of the other mountains. So this is like the parallel valley to Val Gardena. So basically we had to take like a 45 minute drive all around the mountains, back down one valley and then up another valley. And then we parked here in this town and we're trying to get to a photo spot that's in front of this church, but it's a little bit tricky. So we parked down in town and then we have to hike up a little bit, but the trail markers aren't the most convenient. So we figured out that you have to basically hike up the hill and then from here go straight to the church. So it's a little bit tricky. So I came up here with Avery first and then Bliss is coming up behind. So we're just waiting here at the fork for her to come up. We've now reached the church, but I think most of the photo spots are further up the hill from the church. But here's the church behind and there's a better view of the mountains in front of me. It's pretty cool. Kind of figured out that you have to basically get to the road that's like on top of the church, on the opposite side of the church. So I'm not sure exactly how you get here, you have to hike. I don't. There I think people hiking up. I see them on the on the street. Yeah. So there might be a couple different ways because we see people hiking down this way. There might be other roads up there. I'm not sure, but it's definitely you have to hoof it to get to this point. I'm thinking this actually the road that we're sending on is a private road. It's only for residents of this area because they want to obviously not have a bunch of squares just driving all the cars all over the place. But yeah, a little confusing. But anyway, we're here. I think this is the spot. You can get a little bit higher, but we're gonna test this spot right here real quick. We made it up to this viewpoint. It took about eh, 30 minutes, something like that, to hike up there, but it's definitely uphill. There's no shade at all, except for this one tree. <laughs> this is the tree that you're shooting for. <laughs> the one tree that has shade. It's up the hill from the church, and then you can see all the dolomites behind. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here for a second, take some photos, hopefully get some nice family photos here. And yeah, enjoy the view for a second. Okay, so you see the church there. You see the road that's coming down and to the left. That's where you have to hike up. And then you basically hike up this road all the way around and then you basically end up over here. So what you're looking for is this panorama wag. And also if you're on Google, just look up, it literally says best view of St. Magdalena on Google Maps. There's like a little save pin basically. So just go there. We didn't realize that's where we needed to go. So pro tip.
All right, good morning. We are here at the Houston Hobby Airport with Avery. Hi, Avery, say hi. And we are about to go to the Dominican Republic. So it's really early. It's like before 5 a.m. We woke Avery up at four. They have this nice little play area right here 